Hello everyone, welcome back to the weekend messages. I'm going to kind of switch it up today. I think I'm going to do tarot, just like a little bit of tarot. And then we're going to do like actual messages from your person if you're dealing with someone. If you're not, you can kind of just disregard those messages. Basically, the messages are for anyone who's in separation or anything. So if you're if that's not you, then you can totally just not even worry about that. But I'll do those at the end. Uh, we're going to do messages for the elements. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I post new videos every day. I do a daily message and then I post longer videos like this throughout the week for each individual zodiac sign. For the weekend, I usually do elements um, just as like a general energy to go in for the weekend since it's only a couple of days. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, the tower. Okay, we'll start with fire signs. All right, fire signs. What's going on this weekend? Okay, that's too many. Oh, Ace of Wands. I like that. That's too many. Can I get one more, please? One more, one more. Thank you. Four Swords and the Ace of Wands. Wow. So we have a brand new passionate beginning happening here. Um, you could be feeling very creative right now. You could have a new passion project going on. You're also in a period of healing. This healing is leading to a very, very great new beginning. And I also feel like the new beginning is healing in and of itself. You may have just walked away from something that doesn't serve you, whether that be a job or a person. And then we have the Five of Cups reverse and the Hangman reverse. So you're kind of coming out of hiding. It's like you're healing, but you're coming out of hiding with the Hangman reverse here. Yeah, with the Five of Cups, you're like, I'm kind of done with grieving. I did my grieving. I'm ready for a new beginning. Okay, fire signs. New beginning this weekend. Very, very interesting. Let's do a little oracle message for you guys. This is a deck that I made myself. So talented. So talented, I know. Messages for fire signs, please. Just a little oracle. Oh, one more. Wow. With that Ace of Wands there, you guys definitely could be traveling. And we have travel as the overall energy. We have abundance, manifestations coming to life. And trust the universe. Let things unfold naturally. I, that's a great reading. All right, Aries Leo Sag. What's up? Okay. Let's get some messages. All right, so if you're dealing with a person, if you're not dealing with a person, just disregard these messages. But if you're dealing with anyone, if you're in separation with anyone, or if person you're dealing with isn't really talking that much let's get some messages from them what would fire signs person say to them wow all right so this person thinks of you as a soulmate what you did hurt me so like i said you guys just walked away from something so for anyone who's dealing with a person you probably are either in separation or maybe you guys just got into a fight but you're working on a passionate new beginning. You're healing from something. And then overall, I still think about you. What's the top? I miss you. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're looking to hear from someone, I'm sure that they're going to come forward. I'm very sure they're going to come forward. So, yeah. All right, fire signs. That was dope. That was a dope reading. Let's move on to, what did I do? Birth. Earth, 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 Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's going on for Earth signs this weekend? Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Okay, you guys got four cards. That's fine. I already turned them over, so I'm like, I have to take them now. I'm running out of room here. Oof. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have major change on the horizon, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to be difficult. But at the end is victory. <laughs> it's going to be a journey. It's a journey. That's kind of big energy for this weekend. So this may have started for you over the last couple of months. Um, we have four cards here. So maybe over the last four months, you've had some really big changes happening. We have four of cups, feeling bored and discontent with your life. We have the tower. You're either calling in change or change is just happening upon you. The universe is going, you need some change in your life. And it's just throwing it at you. The towers aren't always bad things, guys. It's just change. That's all it is. And it can be sudden change. It's just very like unexpected. You have seven of wands reverse, letting your defenses down. And then the six of wands, victory, recognition. Yeah. 
top and bottom, we have Major Arcana, Justice Reverse, and the Moon. So you're probably looking for some sort of karmic justice with the situation. It's it's coming, it's just being hidden from you. It's not here yet. You know what I'm saying? You also may have feel uh, you also may have felt like someone did you wrong or a, like there was just a very unfair situation that you got put into and you're like when is it my time to shine like why me that's what i'm hearing like why me why did this happen to me why me but it's happening i don't know there's some sort of lesson that needs to be learned and it's probably having to do with learning how to let your defenses down after you've been hurt or wronged in some way but just keep keep your tunnel vision and there is a light at the end of the tunnel we have victory here so yeah Pisces and Libra energy I only mention zodiac signs when I feel called to and I've mentioned that a couple times before but in case you're new here I only mention zodiac signs when I feel called to I don't name off every single zodiac sign because at that point it's like well everyone's here you know all right let's get ooh, pretend like you didn't see that shuffle let's get a little oracle message for the earth signs thank you ooh. so time for a new adventure like i said with that tower there I'm surprised tower moment didn't show up but yeah with the tower it's time for something new it's time for a change we have divine masculine and spiritual lesson um i think the divine masculine if you're not dealing with a person that's just spirit asking you to step into your let's get shit done energy and the spiritual lesson look back on how far you've come you guys i know you just came out of a pretty difficult situation but look back on how far you've come reflect on that lesson and take that with you in the future all right, and if you're dealing with a person, let's get some messages from them. If you're not dealing with a person, you can skip this. If you're not dealing with a person, you can skip this. Oh, okay, that was fast. I'm gonna put them back because that was really fast. I look at your social media and I see a future with you. Have you found someone else? This person is worried. But you are gone forever. <clears throat> Interesting. They're worried you're gone forever, but they're like, I'm busy. I have too many responsibilities. Twin flame. You, a twin flame could resonate for you. You don't have to be a twin flame. It kind of makes sense with the divine masculine card coming out. Um, so for those of you who feel like you're in a very strong soul connection with someone, you don't have to be a twin flame. Okay. It could just be a very, very strong connection with someone. Um, they're very busy and they can't give you what you want right now. However, obviously they miss you and they see a future with you. Um, are they going to come forward? Probably. <laughs> Probably. They see you doing better without them. They see you handling your situation very well. So probably. Don't let them come back if they're still a hot mess though. Don't let them come back if they're still a hot mess. Oh, these cards are so stiff. Okay. Let's move on to water. I was like, I was like, have I already done two elements? I have. Wow. Okay. All right, let's move on to water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's going on this weekend? What's going on this weekend? Oh, jeez. also got the tower you got it reversed though all right five of swords someone who feels like they need to win and then we have the page of cups reversed mm. <laughs> two of wands reversed and the tower reversed you're recovering from a tower moment you're recovering from some sort of sudden change and you're not really willing to take risks right now <laughs> and i think it's because of this okay so we have someone here who is doing anything and everything to win at what cost? I don't know, but they're being an asshole. And I think that they expect you to come in with some sort of apology or some sort of emotional message that, I don't know, kisses their ass or something. And you're like, no. <laughs> so you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be in a fight with somebody right now. I don't see you coming forward. If anyone's coming forward, it's gonna have to be them. 
Um, that doesn't have to be a romantic situation, you guys. That can be a friendship. It could be family member. I don't see you guys coming forward, though. You're like, you've been an asshole. The, the fuck am I gonna... What do I need to say to you? <laughs> Whatever they did, though, shook you up with the tower there. All right, addiction. <sighs> it's time to walk away from this. Makes sense with the tower reverse. Obstacles, prepare for a bumpy road and coward. It's time to face the consequences. That's that five of swords energy. Like being very defensive, being an asshole, starting fights for no reason, but not facing their own responsibility, not facing their part in the situation. And I feel like you're kind of like, I'm good. I'm gonna walk away. There's something about this situation that's very toxic. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of feeling family member for some of you guys, so. I'm kind of feeling family member. Anyway, let's get some messages. So if you're dealing with a person, water signs, if you're dealing with a person, if you're not dealing with a person, go ahead and skip. This ain't for you. Oh, ooh. okay, too many. I just saw, could you forgive me? So, all right, water signs, what would your person say to you? Whoa, what did I tell you guys with that five of friggin' swords energy? You betrayed me, not taking responsibility for what they've done. Um, you betrayed me, I am self-sabotaging, and I am nervous. Could we recover from this? What's the top? Culture or religion is getting in the way. This doesn't actually have to be culture or religion. I mean, it could, it could. Maybe there's cultural norms um, in your family that you don't necessarily agree with. Maybe there's some outdated thinking within your family that has to do with culture or religion that isn't, it's just not sitting right with you and it's not really going with the times, <laughs> you know? Oh God, yeah. When your parents think a certain way and you're like, just let me live my life. And they're like, no, absolutely not. I'm gonna scream at you no matter what you do because you're not a doctor or I don't know. Sorry, anyway, that's not personal. My mom doesn't yell at me for that, but um, if, if culture or religion doesn't really resonate for you, this could also just be like, there's something about your relationship with whoever you're dealing with that's very unconventional and they don't really know how to like operate under that. And instead of working with you, they're working against themselves and ultimately working against you, if that makes sense. So I am self-sabotaging, you betrayed me. This is very like, you did this and you did that. It's very like, I'm blaming you and then I'm nervous. It's because they know that they've done something wrong. I don't know, I may maybe you did something wrong too, but I feel like, for I don't know, I feel like maybe you're owning up to it and the other person isn't with that five of swords here. They want you to come in with an apology, but you're just kind of like, I did everything I could, you know? All right, let's go to your signs. Your signs. We'll see you next weekend for you. I'm like, you didn't see that shuffle. Your signs. What's going on? What's going on? Queen of Cups. Here's the phones. All right, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on with you guys? Let's get one more. Ooh, showed up in your own reading. Feeling some type of way. Ooh. Oh my god. Your son. We have a new cycle beginning here and you are not having it. <laughs> we have the world and the queen of swords. Very defensive. No communication. Not cooperating. You are not cooperating with this new cycle, air signs. Stop it. Stop it. Overall, we have the king of pentacles reversed and the emperor reversed. Could be having some daddy issues come up this weekend for sure. Uh, earth sign and air sign, or earth sign and air sign. Earth sign and fire energy. Aries energy here. I'm getting the, someone's feeling a little lazy. Like there's a new cycle being presented to you, but you're not taking the initiative. You're not having it. Feeling very defensive, I feel like. 
You're not taking the initiative to really start that new beginning. It's time to start. Stop waiting for the, the right time or the opportune time. Just start the thing, you know? Start the thing. Uh, if you're dealing with a person, I understand why you're feeling defensive because this is not a fun energy to be dealing with. This is someone who's manipulative. Um, yeah, the emperor versus someone. I... I always see it as very like manipulative or even lazy even king of pentacles reversed here very lazy i think you're dealing with someone who acts like an emperor who acts if, if you're dealing with a person if you're dealing with a person you're dealing with a masculine energy gender doesn't matter <laughs> i'm sorry dealing with the masculine energy that just like doesn't want to man the fuck up and i i hate the whole like term like man up man up because I feel like be, being a man has become so, like that saying has become so toxic in our society. But like at its core, it means, you know, get your shit done. Like own up to your mistakes, own up to your shit. And this person doesn't do that. This person just tries to manipulate their way through your life. And you're trying to have this new cycle, but they're trying to get a piece of it here. They're trying to get a piece of it. And you're like, no, fuck off. <laughs> so like, yeah, I understand why you're feeling defensive. If you're dealing with a person. If you're dealing with family. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Do you guys hear that? Anyway, if you're dealing with a family member, I definitely feel like there's some daddy issues coming up with like, probably feeling like you're worthy of success. That's just what I'm getting. You don't know how to start this brand new cycle. It's like you're being presented with a brand new beginning, but there's some there's some worthiness issues there like you're worthy you're worthy of success and having money and being rich and being abundant you know so if that resonates with you i would definitely look into that oh got addiction for you guys oh wow i don't know why i didn't pick up on that before with the emperor reversed ego set your pride aside and addiction so there's an ego problem here so if you're dealing with a person they could be very very in their ego um, they could have addiction problems. That doesn't mean drugs or alcohol. It doesn't always have to mean that. You know, it could be codependency. It could be running away from their problems. And then we have, it's time to make a decision. I would decide to walk away from whoever this person is. I don't know. I don't know. If they're very in their ego. I, I'm feeling drugs and alcohol though with this. They may try to numb their pain with drugs or alcohol or sex or something. They definitely avoid their issues though, whoever you're dealing with, whether that be a father figure or a partner. All right, so if you're dealing with a person, air signs, you got a, you got a crazy person to deal with this weekend. I'm sorry. All right, messages. From the air sign person. Messages from the air sign person. Well, if you're in separation from this person, they're going to reach out pretty soon. You will hear from me soon. Or you will be hearing from me soon. I want to come home. See, this is why I'm getting, like, dad vibes. Like, you could be having daddy issues right now. Or got into a fight with your dad or something. Some sort of, like older masculine figure in your life and then i'm starting to understand the intensity of this connection i don't know if i can do this and then overall i don't expect much <laughs> ego i oh my gosh we got this for water culture or religion is getting in the way so this may be a really really big theme this weekend um there may be some cultural norms that are just not sitting right with the newer generations it kind of sounds like the newer and older generations are really, really clashing this weekend, which kind of goes along with what's been happening in the world, right? I mean, we just had, um, or we just saw the prime minister of the UK, the UK, right? I mean, she just stepped down after what, like two months in office. And she was like the head of the conservative party. And it's, I mean, <laughs> She messed a lot of things up in their country. From what I've read, from what I've read, okay, I'm in America, I don't know. It's just what I've read, okay. Um, but this kind of goes along with um, 
just multiple generations just like <laughs> the way things worked 50 years ago is it, it doesn't work the same as it does now and I feel like a lot of you guys are clashing a lot of you guys are clashing with your older family members if you're dealing with a person they may be very stuck in their ways I don't the only they can change themselves okay so but if they're dealing with their own issues and they're not willing to change it is time to walk away from this person but anyway you guys i really hope that helps i they weren't the most exciting messages but i think that they were all very important um we have a lot of stuff going on in the world right now so if you're having a bunch of clashes with older family members or even like your partners like your values just aren't the same this is a time to really sit back and be like okay um maybe maybe i need to start surrounding myself with people that uh that are more aligned with me you know um but yeah so if you want daily messages sorry i just need to play with something um if you want daily messages and just more long form videos for your zodiac sign go ahead and subscribe to me so you can always be notified when new videos are uploaded i also post shorts every single day different lengths um I'm trying out everything so if you guys want to hear a certain message please let me know and I would love to make a video on it or just give out tarot readings not not like free tarot readings but like give out tarot readings on here and just see what you guys want to know so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow